Guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been over two years now since I've started this project, this uh, sawmill, and now it's getting to where it's starting to look like one. This is almost three years ago. I cut down some of my best trees and took them to the local sawmill, and I gave the guy clear instructions on how I wanted it cut. And this is what I got back. Not only was it all crooked and useless, but the amount I gave him didn't equal the, the amount that I got back. So I decided I'm going to build my own sawmill. It rolls pretty good. It's, I've got a, uh, a chain to this crank that raises and lowers the saw head. Turn slowly. You gotta have some patience. The weight of the entire saw head is supported on these two rods where they where they touch the frame there. And there's no bearings, it's just um, a socket. That's, and if I keep lubricated it, it seems to turn pretty smoothly. Not too bad. Covered an inch in about 15 seconds, I guess. It's got 18-inch uh, drive wheels on inch and a half shafts. It has a clutch on the motor, but I also put a uh, belt tensioner on. It's got a spring on this side. This is how I adjust the tension on the blade. Nothing fancy, no hydraulics, yet anyway. But it should do the job. There was one design flaw that I had to fix along this top where these two pieces come together. It, it uh, flexed when I moved it. It wasn't secure, so I had to uh, build this frame to make it much more rigid. Now I can push from one side and the other side follows without any flexing. So, pretty solid now. Well, now I'm going to try to start this motor for the first time and uh, see if we can get these wheels to spin. Turn it on. Well, while we're waiting for the motor to start, let me point out the, these uh, log dogs. This is what I have to hold the log in place on the cutting deck while it's being cut. It's just a pipe clamp, modified. And I can angle it and tighten it down. Um, and I tighten it against this. just provide something for the log to rest against and I can raise it and lower it according to the height of the cut. Apparently there wasn't enough oil in the crankcase. So let's give it another try. Next time we'll uh, put the blade on and I'll build some blade guides and then maybe we can saw some logs, that is if you're not doing so already.